Okay. So here is our universal extrusion fence from aluminum extrusion 30 by 60 millimeters. The slot is at 15, the center of the slot is at 15 millimeters and then 45 and so on. So as you can see uh, at the moment all the magnets are turned off, they are not engaged. Here we have the eye bolts, I connected the string and then we have the scale used for the luggage. Of course now there is no resistance because the magnets are disengaged and bear in mind that this test is without the final fixture which will be adding uh, sandpaper with 300 grit so this is metal on metal it's very slippery so basically there is no friction or the friction is very minimum so let me engage the magnets you can see already i cannot lift it it's holding the holding power is very very significant and we will test the holding power of three magnets okay so let's try as you can see now <coughs> we are at zero kilograms I'm starting to pull it parallel to the table we already have 5 kg 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay slightly above 11 kg so i will repeat the test Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten point five, ten point five. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. So these are the results when we are not using the sandpaper on the feet of the switchable magnets you can see it's bare metal on metal it's very slippery additionally this table still has original some kind of protection layer which makes it even more slippery so it's very very easy to slide and or glide uh, so right now i will add the sandpaper i will glue the sandpaper to the feet of the of the switchable magnets and we will make the test again tomorrow or day after when the glue, when the glue is really dry but even that 11 kg with bare metal and slippery surface it's already a very good result okay so we have very impressive result with the three magnets without the sandpaper glued to the feet which is making it very very slippery i also want to test the single magnet resistance you can see now it's disengaged let's turn it on it's already very firm i cannot lift it ah, here we have uh, zero kg so three kg 3.4 3.8 3.9 5 5.5 kg for a single magnet just now we were testing three magnets with the fence attached to it and they only scored 11 kg i guess that's because we have a lot of slippery surface so there is no friction whatsoever let's do one more test zero kg 
Uh, waterproof 300 grit sandpaper we have, we have our magnets so now I will just glue it to the bottom because it was in contact with the oil let me clean it up with alcohol so I have here 99.8 percent pure rubbing alcohol which is a very good degreaser okay okay Here comes the beautiful day of testing it out. So we have the 60 by 30 extrusion. We put the switchable magnet into the slot. As you can see, I can easily lift it up. Let me disengage it first. I want to show you. I glued the sandpaper of 300 grit at the bottom of each magnet to increase the friction between the table because before it was very slippery zero kilograms six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 12.5, 13, 13.7, 13.7, 13 okay, so here we have the single magnet with the sandpaper at the feet five five point eight six six point five okay okay I have the steel bars each bar is about one kilogram and slightly more 1,400 1, 1,040 gram 1,040 I will use our switchable magnet and I will try to lift these bars using the magnetic force of course it's a piece of cake to lift one. I will tape four together and see if we can lift four kilograms. The magnet is disengaged. Let's turn it on. Okay. And ultimate test. Wow. There we go, 4 kg, like a piece of cake. Just look at that. So I'm going to add another one and let's see how it performs. I'm removing these steel plates from my bulletproof jacket. Okay. So I'm going to glue another 1 kg. OK. 
okay there we go five kilograms the magnet is disengaged and can we lift five kilograms yes we can <laughs> ladies and gentlemen five kilograms lifted and holding okay <laughs> I'm going for the 6 kg then. Oh my god. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It feels heavy. Really. Okay. I'm excited. Can we pull it off? holding my breath as you can see if I find the right balance I almost grab 6 kg 6 kg ladies and gentlemen I'm holding 6 kg yes look at that oh wow 6 kilograms this is really satisfaction wow <laughs> 6 kg Woo! <laughs> obviously we cannot push it further any further but 6 kg is really beyond my expectations <laughs> wow we just pulled off 6 kg with this little baby for 6 kg we needed to find the the center of the balance you can see if you are in the center you can pull it off so I'm not bluffing now let me show you what's inside this magnet that could <laughs> lift up to six kilograms this is really unbelievable the magnet on its own together with all the gear with the aluminum blocks and the stainless steel hardware it's 330 grams and the magnets that are inside this switchable magnet uh, weigh only 44.3 grams 44.3 grams are capable of lifting 6 kilograms <coughs> However, these eight magnets on its own have no chance to do it. They have to be arranged in the special way, which uh, I will try to show you in the build video. If you are lazy or if you don't have tools to make this kind of device, you can buy these magnets off the shelf from, my, from the tigertoolspro.com website. The link is in the description of this video. Let me see how many kilograms we can pull up with these magnets alone. So let's remove one by one. Okay, so now we have five kilograms. Can we pull it up? No way. As you can see, there's not even uh, any movement at all. So let's reduce to four kg. no chance whatsoever 4 kg now almost i guess we might be able to lift 3 kg okay let's give it the benefit of a doubt because you can see it's almost lifting 3 kgs let's just lift 2 kg to make this magnet happy in 2 kg we can so you can see it's probably capable of lifting 2.8 kg because I could feel it's almost the special configuration of the magnets combined with the with the ion bars 
double the strength of the magnetic field or double the lifting capability. So you can see now uh, the genius of Nikola Tesla design, which I followed. And I believe uh, this design is much stronger than the Mac switch. <laughs> okay, as you can see, the results are very, very satisfactory. Like we have multiple applications for these switchable magnets. One obviously is the magnetic fans or Mac fans, how some other companies called it. I just call it magnetic fans. You can use it for many, many things as a miter, as a benzo resewing guide. Uh, you can use it as a stop block or delimiter of the cut length and many, many other things. And the individual magnets, you can only your imagination is your limit of your possible applications. You can use it for further boards. You can use it as a stop from here until the stop of how you can use these beautiful devices. Also, if you are into welding or if you want to learn how to weld, it's a full metal build, so it's very welding applications friendly so you can only imagine what you can do with this because it's all 90 degrees you can combine you can see <coughs> you can make any configuration you wish because they're also sticky on the sides not only at, at the bottom so I'm really really happy with that if you are curious how I built it, you can watch the full build video. Ah. Wow! <laughs> this is really strong. S strong as houses. Uh, also, you can use it on the drill press if your table is steel. It's a beautiful application for the drill press because you can just disengage the magnets, adjust your fans any way you want. You know, you don't have to depend on the rails or T-tracks or T-slots. You can just position it any way you want. Let's say you want this kind of angle, you want this, you want nearer, further. Whenever you are happy with the position of your fans, lock it and it doesn't move <laughs> oh wow <sighs> okay thank you very much for watching i hope you liked uh, this project it was very very useful and also very satisfactory Please don't forget to subscribe to Tiger Carpenter and like this video if you liked it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.